coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. It's a record. EAA releases AirVenture 2023 statistics. Airbus Perlin 2 mission readies to fly. Flight to end polio arrives in Southern California. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. It's a record. EAA releases AirVenture 2023 statistics. It was an astounding week. AirVenture 2023 drew a record attendance of some 677,000 visitors, surpassing the previous record high mark of 650,000 set in 2022. Over AirVenture 2023's duration, upwards of 10,000 fixed and rotary wing contraptions of every conceivable design and derivation descended upon Oshkosh, Wisconsin's Whitman Regional Airport, which recorded 21,883 aircraft operations over the 11-day period, spanning July 20th through 30th. The figure denotes an hourly average of 148 takeoffs and landings during the airport's operational intervals. AirVenture 2023 attendees alternately admired and marveled at a total of 3,365 show planes, comprising a record 1,497 registered vintage aircraft, 1,067 home-built machines, 380 warbirds, 194 ultralights, 134 seaplanes and amphibians, 52 aerobatic aircraft, and 41 rotorcraft. An estimated 40,000 visitors occupied more than 13,000 aircraft and drive-in camping sites throughout AirVenture 2023, and north of 5,500 volunteers contributed to the event's success. Throughout the week, a record 848 commercial exhibitors hosted more than 1,400 forums, workshops, discussions, and presentations. 2,372 international attendees representing a record tying 93 nations registered at the International Visitors Tent. In so much as many international showgoers do not so register, the actual total number of Foreign Air Venture 2023 attendees is likely far higher. And coming up after the break, Wheels Up program is strongly criticized. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Wheels Up program is strongly criticized. An aviation industry insider has alleged federal regulators will presently undertake investigations of Wheels Up senior leadership for purpose of determining whether subject individuals perpetrated fraud in taking the company public. The individual asserted, quote, Wheels Up is over. Civil action will commence as class action attorneys smell blood in the water, end quote. According to the 30-year aviation manager, Wheels Up's original business plan was predicated upon the assumption that King Air 350 series aircraft could dominate the two-hour flight segment market. Covington Aircraft donates Pratt & Whitney R985 engines to EAA. Covington Aircraft Engines has graciously donated a trio of new R985 Wasp Jr. 9-cylinder 450 horsepower supercharged air-cooled engines to the EAA. Subject power plants will be mated to the EAA's storied and beloved Ford Trimotor 4 ATE. The first engine was delivered in mid-July, with the remaining engines slated to arrive at the end of 2023 and in early spring 2024, respectively. The Ford Trimotor, colloquially the Tin Goose, is a three-engine transport aircraft broadly regarded as the world's first luxury airliner. Gulfstream G550 fleet logs 1 million landings. 
Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation announced that the global fleet of G550 aircraft has logged 1 million landings, thereby underscoring the model's robustness, longevity, and enduring viability. To date, the worldwide G550 fleet has logged upwards of 2.6 million flight hours. Gulfstream President Mark Byrne set forth, quote, Two decades after the aircraft entered service, the G550 continues to achieve in-service milestones and add to its impressive list of accolades as evidenced by this one million planting, end quote. Liberty Lifter Program sees renewed investment from DARPA. DARPA planners see the proposed Liberty Lifter program as the ultimate hauler. A funding injection will support two prime contractors and their respective ideas. Aurora's relatively tried-and-true flying boat design and Orbital Science's twin-hole concept. Both designs will be held to the same requirements, with a 5- to 13-foot AGL flying height and ground effect, a service ceiling of 10,000 feet, and a range of up to 6,500 nautical miles. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Airbus Perlin 2 mission readies to fly. The Airbus Perlin Mission 2 team, which comprises a company of the aviation industry's most celebrated test pilots and renowned climate scientists, has safely weathered Patagonia's harsh southern hemispheric winter. Airbus's Perlin Mission 2 is a unique and fascinating initiative undertaken for express purpose of flying an engineless glider to the edge of space. The pressurized Perlin 2 glider, which in 2018 set the subsonic world altitude record at over 76,000 feet, was shipped from the U.S. on May 1st. Upon the aircraft's arrival in South America, the personnel of the Perlin project will attempt to soar the experimental glider over the Patagonian Andes, where atmospheric conditions are optimal to its service ceiling of 90,000 feet. Airbus's sponsorship of the Perlin project, which commenced in 2014, facilitated completion of the Perlin 2's construction. The glider, often described as a space capsule with wings, is equipped with sophisticated life support systems and instrumentation. The aircraft is able to soar sans engine to record altitudes when mountain winds are strengthened by the polar vortex. Airbus's Perlin 2 mission team will conduct its 2023 flying campaign over an eight-week period, spanning late July through mid-September 2023. The aforementioned interval corresponds with the highest statistical likelihood of southern hemispheric mountain wave activity. And coming up after these messages, Flight to End Polio arrives in Southern California. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor a commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Flight to End Polio arrives in Southern California. After traveling more than 25,000 miles and visiting upwards of 20 nations for purpose of raising both awareness of polio and funds to combat the crippling viral disease, pilots Peter Tehan and John Ockenfels have landed their jointly owned Cessna 210 Centurion at Southern California's French Valley Airport. Following their July 26th arrival at RBK, Tehan and Ockenfels attended a fundraiser hosted by the Rotary Club of Temecula. Tehan and Ockenfels have raised north of $1 million for the Rotary Foundation Polio Plus program. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has pledged to give $2 for every $1 donated to the flight and the cause it champions. By the time Tehan and Ockenfels return to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, their odyssey's beginning and end point, the intrepid aviators will have made 39 stops in 21 countries and attended 24 fundraising events. Peter Tien, a Cedar Rapids funeral home director, and John Ockenfels, the retired CEO of an Iowa City recycling concern, departed Cedar Rapids Eastern Iowa Airport on May 5, 2023, in November 723 Whiskey Papa, a 1977 Cessna 210M Centurion. Upon returning to Cedar Rapids, Tien and Ockenfels will join a fraternity of only 700 pilots who have flown around the wide world in a single-engine aircraft. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.